You know, every single strand of hair on your head is like a little hormone messenger. Honest, sensitive, and incredibly revealing. If your hair is thinning, if it's dry, weak, or falling out faster than usual, the real reason may not be your shampoo, your genes, or even your age. Very often, it's your hormones. After 40, our endocrine system starts to lose its rhythm. The hormones that once kept your body strong, energized, and balanced can suddenly swing too high or drop too low. And when that happens, your hair is one of the first places to send a signal. The growth cycle shortens. Each strand grows weaker. And before you know it, more hair ends up in the shower drain than on your head. I'm Dr. William Carter, an internal medicine physician and healthy aging specialist. With more than 30 years of experience working with men and women, over 40 across the U. S. I've helped hundreds of patients understand the powerful connection between their hormones and their hair. And here's the good news. When they brought their hormones back into balance, their hair started growing again, no magic potions required. In today's video, I'll walk you through the five key hormones that shape the health of your hair after 40, and how you can gently guide them back into harmony, so your hair stays thicker, stronger, and younger looking for years to come. Not long ago, I met Linda, a five, seven-year-old yoga instructor. To everyone around her, she was the picture of perfect health. She was vegetarian, exercised daily, slept on schedule. She was doing everything right. But one afternoon, she came to me with worry in her eyes and said, Doctor, I don't understand. I live such a healthy life. So why is my hair falling out in handfuls? When I examined her, her scalp and oil glands looked perfectly fine. The problem wasn't on the surface, it was deeper. Her estrogen and progesterone had dropped sharply, while her cortisol, the stress hormone, was three times higher than normal. On top of that, her thyroid was slowing down, weakening her metabolism and leaving her hair follicles starved for energy. I gently explained, Linda, you didn't do anything wrong. Your body is simply shifting into a new rhythm, and your hormones are the conductors of that orchestra. I gain. We started by bringing her hormones back into balance. She added vitamin D3, Zin C, and Omega-3. She practiced just 10 minutes of meditation each day to lower cortisol. And three months later, Linda's hair began to grow back thicker, shinier, and full of life. She looked at me with a bright smile and said something I'll never forget. My hair grew back not because I became younger, but because I finally understood my body, the science behind it. Linda's story isn't rare. In fact, after 40, your hormones become the central control panel for the health of every single strand of hair. You can use the best shampoo. You can take all the vitamins in the world. But if your hormones are out of balance, it's like watering a garden with dry, lifeless soil. Hair is a living tissue, nourished by hair follicles, tiny biological factories tucked beneath your scalp. Those follicles depend on clear hormonal signals to know when to grow, rest, or shed. When your hormones are steady, everything runs smoothly. When they're out of rhythm, that cycle breaks. And there are five key hormones that determine the destiny of your hair after 40. DHT, estrogen, progesterone, cortisol, and thyroid hormone. 1. DHT. The silent enemy of your hair follicles. DHT dihydrotestosterone, is produced when testosterone is converted by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. When DHT rises, it locks onto the hair follicle receptors, slowly shrinking them. The hair grows thinner, weaker, and eventually stops altogether. That's why nearly 80% of men and almost 40% of postmenopausal women experience pattern hair loss. What helps? Block excess DHT using finasteride under medical supervision, or natural inhibitors like saw palmetto extract, which helps reduce the activity of that harmful enzyme. Estrogen, the silent protector of women's hair. Estrogen extends the anagen phase, the active growth phase of your hair. It boosts blood flow, bringing nutrients and oxygen to the scalp. When estrogen drops, especially after menopause, hair becomes dry, thin, and sheds more diffusely. What helps? Add natural phytoestrogens from flax seeds, soy, or pomegranate. 
support hormone stability with vitamin E, vitamin D3, and omega-3. Prioritize quality sleep and stress reduction. They naturally help your body regulate estrogen. 3. Progesterone, the balancer. Progesterone keeps DHT and estrogen in check. When it falls, the scalp tends to get oilier, the hair weaker, and shedding accelerates. For many women over 45, this silent drop in progesterone is behind diffuse hair loss without a clear cause. What helps? Support natural progesterone production with vitamin B, 6, zinc, and magnesium. Deep, restorative sleep is your golden key to keeping progesterone steady. 4. Cortisol. The stress hormone that steals your hair. When you're under stress, your adrenal glands pump out cortisol. High cortisol over time tightens blood vessels, reduces scalp circulation, and shortens the growth phase. If you've ever gone through emotional stress or chronic sleeplessness and noticed more hair shedding weeks later, that's cortisol leaving its fingerprints. What helps? Practice meditation, yoga, deep breathing, or take a daily walk in nature. Magnesium glycinate can help calm your nervous system. And never underestimate the power of 7-8 hours of deep sleep. It's more effective than any serum. 5. Thyroid hormone. The metabolic rhythm of your hair. Your thyroid sets the pace for your entire metabolism, including the energy supply to your hair follicles. When thyroid function slows, hypothyroidism, hair becomes dry, thin, and sheds diffusely. When it speeds up too much, hypothyroidism, hair also weakens and breaks. What helps? Regularly check your TSH, T3, and T4 levels. Add natural iodine sources like eggs, seaweed, and seafood. Limit ultra-processed foods that disrupt hormonal balance. The interplay of the five hormones. Your body doesn't operate in isolated parts, it's one connected symphony. When estrogen drops, DHT often rises. When cortisol spikes, thyroid slows down. When progesterone falls, your scalp gets oily and fragile. It's a delicate domino effect. And your hair is often the truest storyteller of that internal imbalance. But here's the good news. When you start improving just one hormone, the others begin to follow. That's why I often tell my patients, you don't have to fix everything at once, just start somewhere. Start with sleep. Support your nutrition. Run a basic hormone check. In just a few months, you may notice something magical. Your body feels more balanced. Your skin glows a little brighter. And your hair, slowly but surely, begins to grow back stronger, steadier, and full of life. Practical solutions to restore hormone balance. After 40, the goal isn't to fight your hormones. The real goal is to work with them. To bring your body back to its natural state of balance. And that begins with simple daily steps that quietly build long-lasting change. 1. Nourish from the inside out. Hormones are built from healthy fats and quality protein. Add foods like salmon, eggs, avocado, olive oil, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Support your endocrine system with zinc, magnesium, vitamin D3, omega-3 seconds, and collagen peptides. These nutrients reduce inflammation, stabilize hormones, and help hair grow thicker and stronger. Limit sugar, alcohol, and processed foods. They spike cortisol and disrupt thyroid function. 2. Deep sleep and stress mastery. Sleep is your free, built-in hormone therapy, yet so many overlook it. Aim for 7-8 hours of quality sleep every night. Turn off electronics at least an hour before bed. Each morning, try the 478 breathing technique. Inhale for 4 seconds, hold for 7, exhale for 8. It's been clinically shown to lower cortisol naturally. And if meditation speaks to you, spend at least 10 quiet minutes a day reconnecting with yourself. 3. Gentle movement. The natural hormone booster. Exercise doesn't just help your heart. It activates growth hormone, HGH, boosts blood circulation, and nourishes hair follicles. A brisk 30-minute walk, or 20 minutes of light yoga each day, is often enough to make a real difference. 4. Regular hormone checkups. A simple blood test can reveal so much. DHT, estrogen, progesterone, cortisol, TSH, and vitamin D3. 
When you have real numbers, you stop guessing and start making informed decisions about your health. When you practice these small steps daily, your body begins to listen to itself again. Hormones find their balance. Your energy climbs, and your hair instead of falling begins to grow back. A living sign that inner balance always shows on the outside. You can't control time, but you can control how your body responds to it. Your body is an extraordinary system. It never speaks without a reason. Every strand of hair that falls, every sleepless night, every wave of fatigue, these are quiet signals from your body, asking you to pause and listen. Hormones are not your enemy. They're simply waiting for you to treat them with the care they deserve, through deep sleep, real food, and a calmer state of mind. And when you do, your body begins to restore itself, your hair grows back, and your inner vitality shines brighter than ever before. I've walked this journey with hundreds of patients over the years, and the result is always the same. Their hair grows, their eyes light up, their smile returns. If this video helped you better understand the powerful role of hormones in hair and health after 40, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos in our Hair Health After 40 series here on Longevity Heart. Thank you for spending this time with me. I'm Dr. William Carter, and I truly believe when you understand your body, you give it the power to heal itself. I'll see you in the next video where we'll dive deeper into the connection between stress, sleep, and hair loss, a topic that can completely transform the way you care for both your hair and your mind.